ఓకే హలో స్టూడెంట్స్ హాయ్ సో ఇట్స్ బీన్ వండర్ఫుల్ సో ఫ్రమ్ టుడే వీ విల్ బీ స్టార్టింగ్ యోర్ ప్రిపరేషన్ ఫార్ యోర్ ఎంబీఏ ఎంట్రన్సెస్ బ్యాంక్ ఎంట్రన్సెస్ ఆర్ ఎనీ అదర్ ఎంట్రన్సెస్ దట్ యూ ఆర్ ప్రిపేరింగ్ ఫార్ ఆల్ దీస్ విల్ బీ యోర్ బేసిక్స్ అండ్ ఇఫ్ యూ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ త్రూ దిస్ బేసిక్స్ సిలబస్ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద క్వశ్చన్స్ క్యాన్ బీ హ్యాండ్రెడ్ ఓకే ఎస్ దెర్ విల్ బీ సమ్ అడిషనల్ క్వశ్చన్ సమ్ మోర్ ఎక్స్ట్రా ఎక్స్ప్లెనేషన్స్ గివెన్ ఇన్ ద యాక్చువల్ క్లాసెస్ బట్ వీ విల్ బీ గివింగ్ అవర్ బెస్ట్ అండ్ ద బెస్ట్ కంటెంట్ విల్ బీ బ్రాట్ ఆన్ ద యూట్యూబ్ ప్లాట్ఫామ్ ఆల్సో ఇన్ ఆర్డర్ టు మేక్ ఇట్ కన్వీనియంట్ ఫర్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ టు రిల్ ఆన్ ఇట్ ఓకే సో ఆర్ జర్నీ ఇస్ గోయింగ్ టు బీ ఫర్ ద నెక్స్ట్ సిక్స్ మంత్స్ ఫర్ ద ప్రిపరేషన్ ఓకే వీల్ బీ హ్యావింగ్ వీక్లీ టూ క్లాసెస్ ఫ్రమ్ నవ్ ఆన్ on wednesdays and saturdays one of the videos will be recorded and uploaded for you people okay in case if you have any doubts or anything else you can reach out to us on the comments or i will be putting down a link you can put down your questions over there we will try to answer that question on a separate video on any one of the days okay so this is going to be the pattern so if you're coming for the first time to the channel or if you are going to watch these entire series of videos please do like share and subscribe the video so that it encourages to bring you a lot more valuable content and make you people crack any entrance exams okay that is going to be our main motto to own this okay so this is going to be an absolute free one so you can go through it and in case if you want any class sheets or whatever is happening in the class i will be uploading it on the telegram group whichever is going to be mentioned in the description and go back and check it out the more response you give and the more support you provide it will encourage us to bring in more such videos okay so hope this entire series is going to be very fruitful for you people also and uh, we are also going to win. have a wonderful session with you people okay with this said let us start for the day so today's topic is going to be about your coding and decoding the first topic of your logical reasoning okay so let us start seeing of what will happen and how it will start and what will do everything we will be looking into it okay just have a notes which is going to be dedicatedly used for this purpose alone so that you can refer it before your exams also and you can easily write the exams okay great okay great firstly to the students who are absolutely not aware of what is coding and decoding let me give a quick brief introduction about it and uh, what type of questions you can expect out of it and how to solve the different types of questions and some example problems all these will be the agenda for the day okay example no okay now imagine that in a certain language cat is written as d b u okay what will be a rat written in the particular language this is the question which is asked for you now what will you do immediately okay sir what is the logic behind it you will identify if you observe from c it is plus 1 the next alphabet after c is going to be d plus 1 the next alphabet after a is going to be b that is also plus 1 the next alphabet after t is going to be u and that is also plus one the logic over here is each and every alphabet is being incremented by one one so this is the decoding part this is the decoding part of find the similar way for rat how will you do it the next alphabet of r is yes after a it is being b after t it is going to be so this is the answer for your given question 
Now, this is one simple example which I explained to you to make sure that you are on the right track to understand what is in this coding and decode. Now, in coding and decoding, you need to know certain basics. Okay. First is your alphabets. As we know, we have 26 alphabets from A to Z. A to Z where we can number each and every alphabet in the sequence where A will be numbered 1, B will be numbered 2, C will be numbered 3 and so on, Z will be numbered 26. This is called as forward numbering. Forward numbering. The same thing I can also do it this way where I can number Z as 1, keep on going and name A as 26. Now this kind of a sequence is called as reverse numbering. A reverse number. Okay. So the alphabets can be numbered either in the forward sequence or in the reverse sequence. So what do you mean by it? There might be a scenario of question where I'm giving a, B, C is written as A, B, C is written as um, Z, Y, X Z, Y, X So what is the relationship between them? In the forward numbering A is 1 B is 2 C is 3 But in the reverse numbering Z is 1 Y is 2 X is X is 3. A similar way I'll ask a question to you. So you have to answer it. Now this is with relation with the alphabets. Sir, is the question going to come only from alphabets? Not necessarily. The questions can come from numbers. It can come from numbers. Sir, what kind of numbers? It can be either a odd number or it can be an even number or it can be prime numbers okay or it can be sequential numbers or it can even be multiples multiples or it can be squares cubes square root square root still many more. If I speak about numbers, there are a lot to speak. So, the code could have been given in terms of numbers also. And that can be one of these also. Sir, is these the two types available to us? No. There can be a third different type of sequence where it is going to be called as alphanumeric. Alphanumeric where it can be combination of both alphabets and numbers and numbers where I'm going to tell something like A to C and you need to find out the code of it and this can be the third type is it that? no, still you have some more types it can be something like symbols is mentioned to you what kind of symbols? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, hash trick, or even a greater than symbol, lesser than symbol, ampersand, dollar sign, percentage sign is given and they are asking you to decode the answer of it. So these are some different types which can be implemented in it. And under alphabets, there is also another set vowels and consonants vowels is going to be your a e i o u and consonants are the remaining terms right so these kind of things also can come into picture okay now this is the entire thing what and all can come in coding and decoding alphabets can come 
numbers can come, vowels and consonants can come, alpha numeric can come, and also symbols can come. And also symbols can come. These will be the different questions which might come to you. Now, let us see the type of questions which will come in your coding decode. It can either be letter to letter coding, where I did for cat and dog, it can be letter to letter coding, or letter to number coding. This will be given in terms of letter and the code will be given in terms of number. Substitutional coding, we need to replace it with something else and we need to decode it. Chinese coding, that is what I said. We cannot understand the word of word or something. It's called as Chinese coding. LSN coding, again, it is a type of coding. We'll just go into it and look into it. Conditional coding, where I'm giving certain conditions. If it is followed by a vowel, if it is followed by an even number, then you need to code it in this particular language. Else you need to code it in certain other language. Clock coding according to the times. Binary coding using your zeros and ones. Now these are all the different types of coding and decoding questions which you might get in your examinations. Fine. The first and foremost things what I would request you people to do in your exams is write down the forward numbering and the reverse numbering of your alphabets. If you know it, well and good. If you don't know it, just write it down quickly. Okay. Most of the exams, somewhere around two to three marks or max to max four marks will be from your coding and decoding section. Easy to score, very simple topic. Okay. So this is one of the things which you need to keep in your mind. Mm -hmm. Now, let us start looking into the different types of questions with examples also. Fine. First one, coding based on alphabets. Under the type one, you're having a reversal of alphabets. In a certain code language, breakdown is written as N, W, 0, D, O, D, K, A, E, R, B. How will triangles be written in that code language? So whenever you're solving coding, decoding questions, just write down the word which is given to you. Okay. And just write down the code of it also below this same word. Now, what is the benefit of writing in below the same word is you will start understanding the pattern what is going on here. Okay. And then it will be easier for you to solve the question. Fine. Now, the given word is breakdown and the coded word is something like this. If you observe, here B and N and B and N are just reversed, are just reversed. Now go to the second pattern also, R. R is second over here, it is second from the last. E, E. So we have understood that the entire word breakdown is reversed and written in the opposite order. Opposite order. Now this is the code of the given question. Code of the given question. Now the same way for triangles how it will be written? S will be first. It will end with T. S will be the first letter. It will end with T. Sir, what is the purpose you are writing this? Now what is the purpose is since you know it is going to start with S and end with T, end with T, identify the options which is having these set of things. If you observe, only the option number D is going to start with S and end with T. Remaining everything is going to have a different option. It is not, it, 
even though the option number B is starting with S, it is ending with A. So this is the art of elimination. Do not sit and write the entire code and then go back and check the answers and everything. Since you know the code of it and the pattern what it is following, just reverse it and check it out with the options. Whichever is coming close to your answer, go ahead. Sir, what to do if two or more options are having the similar pattern? Then check the letter which is changing. That particular letter, see the word and that is your answer. We will be doing some examples based on that. Okay. So hope this point is clear. Next one, opposite letters. Opposite letters. In a certain code, order. What is it? L I W V I. Okay. How is substitution written in that code? How is substitution written in that code? Now just think for 20 seconds because your examination time is going to be only 30 seconds per question. 20 seconds in giving. Think it and let me know the answer what is going to be there. Identified. Now, here, if you observe immediately, you won't find any pattern. You won't find any pattern. Oh, after O, it is going to be um, MNO, PQ, RST. L is not going to come, or L is going to come before it. L, M, N, O, P. After L, it is going to be M, N, O. So plus three, if you go in that order. But in this order, if you go with I, it is going to be what? J, K, L, M, N. No sequence is following here. So how do I do? Or some might even think, sir, R is coded as I. Here also it is coded as I. So there should be some relations in between R and I. Yes, you have identified the pattern, right? There should be some relation between R and I, which is going to be used over here. It is going to be used over here. If you had clearly observed the forward and reverse numbering, what is the code of, what is the number of O in the forward numbering? 15. 15. Right? What is the number of O in the, this 15's code in the reverse numbering is going to be N. So O, R, B, E, R, the reverse numbering, the code is going to be L here for the 15th number. Same way, for R it is going to be 18 and here 18th number is going to be I. The same I, I can write it here. For D, the code is 4 and this 4 is going to be W. For E, the code is 5 and it is going to be V here. Now this is what we had got over here. Right, this is what we had got over here. So now we have identified the pattern. This is the reason you should be writing down the forward numbering and the reverse numbering in the examination very quickly before the start of the examination or whatever. It makes it very handy for you people to identify the pattern and start answering the question much more quickly. Fine? Hope this point is clear. Now, let us go to this question what is given. Substitution. Substitution. So we need to find what is the um, letter for substitution. S, N. So we need to find the pattern. So here if you count this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it can either be option A or option D. Option B and C you can neglect because obviously it has to be a 12 letter word. These two are not 12 letter word. It is going to be 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9, 9 plus 1 10 letters. So these two are directly eliminated. You are left with only the first option and the last option. In the first and last option, identify which is the letter which is changing its pattern. For example, here G and H are changing. G and H is going to be 3, 3, 6. 6, 7th seven, seventh letter, 7th letter is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
फोर फाइव सिक्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स टी इज गोइंग टू बी द सेवेंथ लेटर सो सेवेंथ लेटर मीन्स इट इज गोइंग टू बी टी वॉट इज अ कोड फॉर टी कोड फॉर टी इज ट्वेंटी सो ट्वेंटी ओवर हियर इज गोइंग टू बी जी जी राइट जी so whichever option is having g that is your right answer so this is going to be your right answer option number a so this is the way you can use the elimination method in order to identify the pattern quickly this will save a lot of time for you instead of sitting and wasting time okay great so now let's go to the third different type of question here this is for the jumbling of letters okay now authority is written as y t u r o h t i a now identify the pattern over here the same thing here there is a pattern y and a are replaced y and a are replaced right once y and a are replaced then is it is there something which is replaced again uh t is there but u and t are over here itself h o r is here itself everything is over here now if you observe this u has come over here and the t has come over here i has come over here and the t has come over here it is just interchanging its position nearby here again h has come over here r has come over here o remains in between as it is the middle term remains the same balance everything has been interchanging its position there is nothing but jumbling of flat okay and the same solution needs to be applied for the designate whatever you have d e s i n g n a t e so obviously the first letter will start with e the last letter will end with d last letter will end with d so option number a are eliminated option number d is eliminated only option number b and c is left out from b and c which is the letter which is interchanging uh, fourth letter fourth letter so let us quickly check it out this both are going to change its position this is going to be s this is going to be e this is going to be n this is going to be i this is going to be g so n is going to be the letter which is the answer so e s c g n i t a d is going to be the answer for the given question so see how quickly you can identify the pattern and eliminate the options and start marking the answers so this would be the method which you need to follow in the examination sir for you you are doing it since you have practiced a lot what about us sir we are beginners yes even you people need to practice this coding decoding is such a kind of subject if you are practicing somewhere around 100 questions 100 questions it should be good enough to start writing the examination because you would have covered almost all the different patterns over here and the examination also would become much more easier for you to attend okay so hope this is clear for you people now let us go to the next question the next question adding up the place value so if madras is coded as 56 calcutta will be coded in that language what now letter and numbers letters and numbers let me give you an example now um c a b is coded as 6 6 what will be b a b coded in that language in that language CAB is coded as six. What will be DAB coded in that particular language? Now this is your question. 
Now how will you solve it? Simple. In the forward numbering, the position of C is 3. The position of A is 1. The position of B is 2. So 3 plus 1 plus 2 is going to be 6. The same way, the position of D in the forward numbering is 4. This is going to be 1. This is going to be 2. 4 plus 2 plus 1 is going to be 7. 7. Now this could be a type of question where they are asking you. The same question could also be asked in the reverse order also. Reverse order also. Where they might tell this is going to be 26. This is going to be 25. This is going to be 24. 24. 26, 25, 24 is going to be 51. 51 plus 24 is going to be 75. 75. So CAB is coded as 75. What will be the code for DAB? Easy. Again, 23, 26, 25. So now what is happening? What will be the answer for this? Yes, quickly. 25, 25, 50, 50 plus 24, 74. Answer for this will be 70. Reverse numbering. So the same question could be asked in both the ways. Both the ways. This question could also be asked in a different way. What is the different way, sir? C, A, B, I'm going to quote it as C A B is coded as 14. What will be D A B coded as? Now what will you tell? Sir, how is C A B coded as 14, sir? I don't know. So how to do it? Simple. What I said in numbers, it can either be sequential numbers or it can be squares also or it can be cubes also or it can be subtraction, addition, multiplication, division, whatever it is. It can be any pattern which is found out over here. The code of A is 1, okay. Code of B is 2, okay. Code of C is 3, okay. What is 1 square? 1. 2 square is 4. 3 square is 9. 9 plus 1, 10. 10 plus 4, 14. Same way, here it is going to be 4, 1, 2, 16 plus 4, 20, 20 plus 1, 20. Going to be the answer for this question. So, in this way, keeping a single question itself, multiple things can be formed. But you should be aware of the things which can come across, which can come across. Now here, in the same case, I could have given a different scenario also. Just wait. Hmm. CAB is given as 8, DAB is given as CAB is given as 6, DAB is given as 8. Now you would be like, Sir, earlier question it was easy, sir. You told this is 4, this is 1, 5, 5 plus 2, 7. Okay, got it. But here 5 plus 2 will be 7. No, sir, how you got 8? Okay. This is 3, this is 2, this is 1. This is 4, this is 1, this is 2. 3 into 2 will give you 6. 4 into 2 will give you if I divide and give the code like this, I could have given a code like this. CAB equal to 3. What is DAB equal to? So now what do you need to do? 3 into 2 is 6. 6 divided by 2 will give me 3. 4 into 2 is 8. 8 divided by 2 will give me 4. One question, different patterns. 
so what pattern they will give in the exam we do not know but just practice every different pattern so that you are accustomed to solve any question fine great well you are taking the notes and if you are coming to the channel for the first time please do subscribe and watch it so that we will be uh, encouraged to do a lot more right okay on the same way can i solve it for madras madras is going to be written as 56 what is the numbering for m m is going to be how much m is going to be 13 m is going to be 13 a is going to be 1 d is going to be 4 r is going to be 18 a is going to be 1 s is going to be how much 19 i don't remember yes i will just write it down and then just find it out so now what is happening so 13 plus 1 is 14 14 plus 4 is 18 18 plus 18 is 36 36 plus 18 will be 50 um, 36 plus 18 will be 14 54 55 55 56 huh? 56 is adding up to 56 so when we add up all these things it is coming up to 56 so same way we need to do it for calcutta calcutta it is going to be 3 plus 1 plus l calcutta let us add it up here itself c a l c u t t a calcutta going to be 1 sorry 3 1 l is going to be 12 c is going to be 3 u is going to be 21 tt is going to be 20 plus 20 a is going to be 1 all right so now 20 plus 20 plus 20 is going to be 60 61 61 61 plus 12 is going to be 70 3 73 plus 3 is going to be 76 77 78 81 is the answer for the given question so whichever is your answer in that just mark it out and that is going to be your answer okay sir can't we eliminate options here yes you can do but if you sh if if you remembering all the things immediately so you can eliminate it quickly okay sir in examination if i get a very difficult question or like a very lengthy problem and it is only for a single mark then what should i do if it is very much time consuming or if you are very aware that this question will take a lot of time avoid it avoid it it's not necessary that you should attempt all the questions in exam like obviously the hopper is not going to get like 100 out of 100 questions right it is going to be somewhere around 80 90 questions right and this is going to be the topper so it is okay to avoid certain questions which which is going to take more time but if you are having more time in the sense more than 30 seconds if it is going to take more than 30 seconds avoid it for that point of time once you complete all the sections if you are having additional time go back to those questions sit and solve it since you know that is going to be an easy one and solve it in that time else it will take a lot of time you will not be able to attend the remaining questions time management is very important if you are not doing it competitive exams is out of your reach right great so hope this is clear now let us go to the next set of question given two words find the code for the third if the word number is coded as e p r s a y square is given as n g p v y a then how is member coded as now here we not sit and think much whenever this kind of a question is given there should be some relationship between whatever is given over here example so in these first two words square and number which is common u is common u is common what is the code for u here p p the code for u over here is also p great are we having anything else common e is there e is coded as a and e is coded as so we have identified the pattern the same so 
a particular letter is coded as another letter. So we know how to find the pattern over here. The same way, M is going to be coded as R. R is going to be coded as Y. So the option should start with R, end with Y. What are the options available? Only one option over here. This is going to be your right answer. Immediately you'll end up with your answers. You need not look at other questions also. You need not sit and solve the entire question also. Fine. Hope the concepts are getting better slowly. Fine. Yes, it would require a lot of practice for you people since you're going to attend it for the first time. Fine. Now coming to the type 2 type of questions based on symbols and numbers. Okay. Numbers coding involves two types of cases. So here, if I'm giving D is equal to 4 and cover is equal to 63, then basis is written as 1. It's 4. Now, how did we get D is equal to 4? Obviously, we know the forward numbering of D is 4. Cover is equal to 63 means we have added up all the letters and we have got the 63. Then for the same thing, you can do it from basis and identify the answer for it easy now going forward to the next question what is given over here when alphabetical code values are assigned to the numbers in a certain code spring is written as hash to percentage at the rate 4 equal and gone is written as equal 74 c how would sign be written in that same language how would sign be written in the same language now, the same concept, whatever you did in the earlier case of identifying each letter to a particular another letter given, same thing you can do here. S is coded as hash. In case, if you want to check the similarity between that, N, N is given. N is coded as 4. N is coded as 4. Same thing. There is no change over here. So, G is coded as hash g is coded as no g is coded as equal g is coded as equal so we have identified the pattern since we identify the pattern sign also will obviously follow the same pattern sign s is following with hash and n will be following with four so obviously we are having all the three options following the same pattern so, which is changing over here, changing will be like the second letter, which we can check it out. The second letter is going to be uh, I. I code is going to be at the rate. So, whichever is at the rate. So, it can either be this one. So, both are the same option only. So, you can select one of the options and that is going to be your answer. Fine. So, this is going to be one type of question. One type of question. Fine. Okay, the, now the third type, third type, coding based on a renaming, renaming, very interesting questions. If green is called white, white is called yellow, yellow is called blue, blue is called pink, pink is called black, then what is the color of milk? Now, immediately when we hear this question, color of milk is white. Option you see white, mark it out. Yes, you will have an option given as white. But is this the right answer? No. Now, you should observe what is white called as, white is called as yellow. So, you will mark the option. White is called as yellow. So, yellow is nothing but the option over here. So, this is the way you need to solve the question. Not just what is the color of Milk means white, okay, mark white. Here I have not given the option, but in examination, they will give an option called as white also. So you will be very happy and excited. Okay, at last, at least I got one question right. Right? So this will be the answer for this question. Hope this concept is also clear. Next one, coding based on group of words. In a certain code language, ing, ping, sing means how are you, Chinese language. 
बात है सिंग रिंग डिंग मीन्स वॉट अबाउट यू एंड डिंग फिंग चिंग मीन्स वॉट टू डू देन हाउ इज डू रिटर्न इन दिस फोर्ड लैंग्वेज हाउ इज डू रिटर्न इन दिस फोर्ड लैंग्वेज नाउ हियर दिस इंग पिंग सिंग नीड नॉट फॉलो द सेम पैटर्न ऑफ हाउ आर यू मीन्स इंग इज नॉट हाउ पिंग इज नॉट आर सिंग इज नॉट यू anything can be anything so you need not follow the same pattern it need not follow the same pattern sir then how to find sir i am i do not know chinese i do not want you to know chinese also now what have they asked they have asked us to find do where do we have do do is available in the third sentence first sentence second sentence third sentence in order to identify do what we need to eliminate we need to eliminate what we need to eliminate two two how to eliminate what whatever is common in statement number 2 and 3 we'll eliminate what what is common here ding is common so what is eliminated now we need to eliminate two is there any sentence which is having two in it no sentence if there is no sentence obviously you need to mark the option called as data inadequate every question need not be having a right answer there will be certain questions which is having data inadequacy also okay so you need to be very careful while answering those questions too it's not necessary that you should be directly just marking the options and starting it okay sir i got the answer it will end up trial if you're not identifying two to eliminate and there is no option left out right so this is the way we need to solve it now still there are some more types also where you will be having some table given to you with certain symbols and numbers you need to you will be given certain conditions and according to those conditions you need to start answering the question some five questions will be given and you need to start answering those pattern everything remains same okay and also there will be questions where it in a sequential manner we we'll see some examples now some three examples i'm having this yes, i'll put it quickly and we'll solve it and we'll finish it in a certain code language partner is coded as p a r t n e r is coded as o z q s m d q q block okay. then what is the code for this word segment in the language in the language now what will you do how will you solve it quick 20 seconds take 20 seconds time immediately identify the pattern and let me know okay so now from p there is a reduction of 1 reduction of 1 it goes to o from a there is a reduction of 1 it goes to z r reduction of 1 it goes to q t reduction of 1 it goes to s n reduction of 1 it goes to m same pattern follows now this is the pattern which has been followed in order to solve this question the same thing can be done for 
segment also segment also before s it is going to be r r before t is going to be s so which options are available with us b d and c a and e r eliminator a and d are eliminated so now in these three options we need to see which is swapping its position firstly the third letter g what is coming after what's coming before g f f should be the option it can either be b and d so c is eliminated in these two again the fourth letter is interchanging m before m it is going to be l so the option number b is the right answer for this given question now this was decrement one word decrement even you can have a word which is getting incremented incremented by one and you can solve the question okay now i want you people to solve these two questions okay the second and the third question and put down the options in the comment below now okay you can take a screenshot of it sit and solve it 30 seconds each solve it put down the comments we'll see who is getting the right answers an appreciation will be given to those people in the next video okay so hope this class was informative and valuable to you people okay in case if you are having some more doubts in this particular topic or you not understand certain things just put down a comment i'll try to help you out whenever we are having the q and a session slowly go through the video again once and start solving more questions based on it okay and once you complete a set of 100 questions here you are good to go in this particular pack okay each topic take 2 to 2 days so in the next 6 months we should be completing almost all the topics sincerely if you should sit and practice it's not like simply a day you're watching this video and you're done every day you need to sit and practice with some random questions what you have every entrance exam can be cracked with dedication and efforts not just by telling no i want to write this entrance exam so i will be doing it and everything is done so nothing is going to happen only by uh, watching the video and sitting and explaining that i'm going to crack this exam only if you practice regularly and give your consistent efforts that time it is going to be wonderful okay so thank you very much i hope this video was informative enough for your people in case if you loved it please do like and share and subscribe this video to a lot of people so it really motivates us to start doing similar contents and help people okay so take care till next time